Today, we're going to learn about the human senses. Let's get started. Do you hear that song? Can you smell those delicious cupcakes? Can you smell a flower? The five senses allow us to learn about the world around us. They collect all this information and send it to our brain. We have five senses. Hearing. The sight. Taste. Touch. And smell. Let's learn more about each of them. Which part of the body allows you to read your favorite book and see the face of your favorite person? Of course, your eyes. The eyes are the sense organs that allow you to see. They take in information about the world, shapes, colors, distances, brightness, and more. Then they send this visual information to your brain. The brain interprets this information and tells you what you see. What is the sense of sight? The sense of sight is the ability to see the things around you. It is also the ability to perceive color, shape, brightness, depth, distance, and movement. Your eyes are very important for you to see everything around you. What are ways to take care of them? So important, read in well-lit places. Do not read in the dark or with dim light. Protect your eyes from dust and the sun's harmful rays by wearing sunglasses. Never look directly at the sun. It is extremely dangerous. Uh-oh. Also, wash the surrounding areas of your eyes with clean water and protect your eyes from the soap. Eat vegetables and fruits rich in beta-carotene. Carrots, tomatoes, sweet potatoes, spinach, and lettuce are very good for the eyes. Not for being the last one is the least important. Get enough sleep to rest your eyes. Sense of smell. The sense of smell, also known as olfaction, is the ability to detect and identify different odors through the use of special sensory cells in the nose. It plays an important role in daily experiences, from enjoying the aroma of food to detecting potential danger from smoke or gas leaks. What objects smell pleasant? Of course, the orange smells delicious. Also, the baked cookies smell very good. Yes, the lotion smells pleasant. What objects smell unpleasant? Of course, these things smell unpleasant. Dirty socks, poop, and garbage have unpleasant smells. As you could notice, your nose is an important body part. What are ways to take care of it? Keep your house clean to reduce the amount of dust and allergens you may breathe in. Use a clean tissue paper to cover your nose when sneezing. <coughs> Stay away from areas where people smoke. Avoid secondhand smoke. Sense of taste. The tongue is a muscular organ in the mouth that is involved in tasting, chewing, swallowing, and speaking. It is also responsible for sensing temperature, uh -oh. texture, and other sensations in food. The sense of taste is one of the five basic senses. It allows us to detect various flavors such as sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. It is mainly controlled by taste buds located on the tongue and it helps us to enjoy food and identify harmful substances. What food tastes sweet? Delicious! Candies, cookie, donut. These foods taste sweet. What food tastes sour? Lime, vinegar, and lemon juice taste sour. What food tastes bitter? 
Bitter gourd. Coffee. Dark chocolate. What food tastes salty? Salt. Chips and fries are some of the foods that taste salty. What food tastes umami? Delicious. Tomato, cheese, and ham. These foods have an umami taste. Your tongue is an important body part because it lets you delight your favorite flavors. What are ways to take care of it? Clean your tongue with a tongue scraper. Also, wash your tongue every day with your toothbrush. Drink plenty of water to keep your body hydrated and your tongue healthy. Be careful when you sip a hot drink. Sense of hearing. The ears are sensory organs responsible for hearing and maintaining balance. They capture sound waves and send signals to the brain, which interprets them as sounds. Basically, hearing is the process in which you pick up sound and attach it to meaning. Sound travels to us in invisible waves that are created by air vibrations. Vibrations are very small and quick movements that go back and forth, like ocean waves or a string moving up and down. Once the vibrations enter your ear, they are sent to your brain to make meaning out of them so that you can understand the sound. This process involves the ears and the brain. They work together to process and understand the auditory information you receive. What objects make sounds? Very good. The alarm of the clock makes a sound. The firecrackers and a mobile phone also make sounds. We can also hear the sounds that produces these percussion instruments. Guitar, violin, and harp. We can say that these instruments make a very pleasant melodies. Police car and fire truck. These vehicles also make a very loud sound. We can hear the ambulance siren when there is an emergency. Also, the helicopter makes a loud sound when it's descending. As you can see, your ears are important. What are ways to take care of these sense organs? Cover your ears when you hear loud noise. Basically, avoid places with loud sounds. Clean your ears with a clean cloth or a cotton swab. Be careful when do so in addition to keep them safe. Sense of touch. The skin is the largest organ of the human body that provides a protective barrier between the external environment and the internal organs. It helps regulate body temperature. The sense of touch is the ability to perceive physical sensations through the skin, such as pressure, temperature, and texture. The texture of an object may be smooth, rough, soft, or hard. What objects feel smooth? Glass jar, mirror, balloon. What objects feel rough? Walnut, peanut, jackfruit. What objects feel soft? Doll, toilet paper. Teddy bear. What objects feel hard? Kettlebell. Brick. Chair. Your skin is an important body part. What are ways to take care of it? Wash your skin daily with soap and water. Wear a hat or use an umbrella when going outdoors. Eat fruits and vegetables that are good for your skin. Very important! Use a broad-spectrum sunscreen. 
Apply sunscreen generously and reapply every two hours to protect your skin from the sun. Group that can be changed over here, right here. So 12 divided by 4 equals 3.